Hello third grade. Today we're going to make the basket weave. You should have received a cup that is cut in an odd number of pieces. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is an odd number. You should also have received a ball of yarn. And you'll need a pair of scissors. I like to stretch my yarn about two arm lengths. That gets me started. Then I cut it. This is the warp of your weaving because you're going to weave around the cup. This is called the weft. I like to remind myself that weft rhymes with left, and when you weave, you go from left to right. So I'm gonna put the yarn inside one of my slits, just like that. So I'm going to take my yarn, and I'm gonna go in the next one, and out the next. So I'm going in and out, pushing my yarn at the bottom. Then I rotate. I'm out, so I go in and out, pulling it gently to the bottom. In, out. In, out. The yarn is covering up the plastic cup so you won't even see it. In, out. In, out. Keep weaving until you run out of string. And then we'll add some more. is too short so I'm going to leave it inside the cup as a tail and I get more string. To start a new string I put it inside the cup just like before and I kind of hold it a little bit and go around two or three of these at the cup. So I go out, in, out, rotate, in, out, in, out. I just keep going until I get to the top of the cup. You can see that you don't see the plastic because the yarn is so close together.
It takes some time, but the basket is really starting to look nice. Once you get to the top of the cup, you are finished. Baskets were used to store things, to carry things, and just recently to decorate in your home. If you had different kinds of yarn color, you could make stripes on your basket. To get rid of the tails on the inside, just take your scissors and cut close to the side walls. Try not to cut the walls. You tuck them inside. Hope you had fun.